New on 2 News at 5 in HD, millions of dollars have funded salaries and city projects from the federal government. But one city councilor wonders what's going to happen when those federal funds run out. 2 News reporter Marla Carter talked to the mayor to find out his plans. Marla? Russ, counselors are working on the budget for next fiscal year and are set to pass it next month. The plan already includes cuts, and one counselor wonders if we lose grant money, will those cuts go deeper? Inside City Hall, the elevator gives you a bird's eye view of downtown Tulsa. While inside the building, city leaders debate next year's budget. Everyone understands the stakes involved. The proposed budget includes unpaid days off for all city employees, along with other cuts. But Councillor G.T. Bynum fears it could get worse. Now, everyone thinks that our budget is as low as it could get and that we've really cut down to the marrow. But the reality is that we have a lot of really false, hollow funding sources that we're counting on right now to keep service levels up. In fact, two federal grants are funding 53 police officers' salaries leaving Bynum with a big question for the mayor. My concern is when those sources run out and what we're doing to make up the slack for those when they do run out. Once those grants uh, expire, that funding source is gone. And unless we have a new source of revenue to replace that uh, expired grant, then those police officers would probably be laid off, or at least most of them would be. The mayor says that is unless more dollars come into the city. He's proposed privatizing parking meters and adding a fee to your water bill to pay for fire department response. He says that money could then be used to pay salaries and make up the shortfall from the grants. It's the business of the day here that affects everyone in the city. We have a lot of options to look at, both on the revenue side, uh, but also the expense side. Also, a study that's looking at cost-saving measures for the city is set to be complete in late June. Mayor Bartlett says some of those ideas could be applied to this coming fiscal year. Marla Carter, 2 News works for you.